Hi, and welcome back to Pan Rants. And when I was a kid, I watched 90s cartoons. My childhood was awesome. Kids today ain't got nothing. Oh, good for you. You watched a bunch of cartoons as a kid. What have you done as an adult? Oh, I remember being obsessed with everything 90s and hated everything else. So young, stupid, signed petitions, wanted to take the channel back, watch Bill O'Reilly unironically, couldn't tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. There's just some things you all got to learn about high personal standards for children's cartoons. They should cancel everything and play all the old shows on loop. Hey, yeah, that'll be cool for about a month until you're watching the same episodes over and over, get tired and change the channel. Reasons why I don't watch Boomerang anymore. Well, they should have never canceled these shows. Unless your cartoon was short-lived and had more story potential, it's better off the show ended. I hate the new Spongebob, Pokemon, and SimSims. Why won't they end? Well, shit, do you want the show to end when it's good or go on until you're complaining the old episodes were better? There's only so much mileage you can milk from these concepts. Creators often admit they tire of the show and want to try something new, including Samurai Jack. TV stations don't treat shows with respect anymore, canceling everything. Where were where were you when Sonic Satayam, MTV Downtown, Pirate the Dark Water, Freakazoid were constantly moved around the schedule, aired out of order, or just never finished their story? Must I remind you when the SWAT cats ended for being too violent? Or when Kids WB and Fox Kids were edging out Western animation in exchange for animes? TV is so unoriginal now. Kinda like all the Scooby-Doo knockoffs in the 70s, Power Ranger or Pokemon knockoffs in the 90s, Ninja Turtle knockoffs in the 80s. Transformers were ripped off by the GoBots, which technically was sold first, and then the Rock Lords. They were robots that turned into rocks. Fucking rocks. Flash animation is lazy. Oh, oh, hang on. Let me just download Flash and press the make a cartoon button. It's very easy. It doesn't matter how skilled you are. Flash always looks like crap since there's no effort put into anything. It's not at all a real art form. But cartoons now are just so weird. Yeah, cuz Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles made so much fucking sense. Look, Rambo the cartoon, uh, Ren and Stimpy, Cow and Chicken, that's real intelligent humor. A grown man making little girls out of condiments and ecstasy. Some rich jack-off dressing like a bat beating up clowns and scarecrows with his underwear on the outside. Is this a superhero comic or Liberace's Wizard of Oz? Th this picture I found. What the shit does this have to do with Vietnam? This was from a clip used only once before the Powerpuff Girls movie and features Hanna-Barbera characters pre-Cartoon Network. The bottom was for bumpers in between commercials. When the channel plays movies, you expect them to animate a character for each seat multiple times. Cartoon Network still airs these shows, either on Boomerang or the Cartoon Planet block. Can't say the same for other channels on Retro Appreciation, except for the Hub Channel or Teen Nick. You know, if you actually have that channel. But I guess we'll never be able to watch all our favorite old shows again instantly and for free anywhere. Cartoons today can't get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> While there's still plenty of friendly shows like Gravity Falls or My Little Pony, we get away with much worse nowadays. The Legend of Korra, Star Wars Clone Wars, Symbionic Titan got away with suicides, people getting stabbed or shot through the chest on screen. Rewatch a 90s action show and notice how many times they avoid showing a punch to the face without a flash or cutting away. You're too old to be watching cartoons, you suck dick. I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible person for watching a TV show, and I will not suck dick unless you pay me. Some of us do have standards. Dick. I don't think judging anything on a person by the TV show they watch is a very accurate representation, but maybe that's a topic for a whole nother video. 
What video editing software do you use? Sony Vegas. Can you review edit a Netty? Soon. Do you have Asperger's with a side of fries? Live action on Cartoon Network. Oh, in 2009, I would have agreed with you. Now, all that's left is Incredible Crew. Level up and everything else is cancelled. I just want you to keep this in mind. Not every show airing you're gonna like, and a lot of stuff you watched back then won't be as good as you remember it because you were nine years old and thought Mike Lewinog was good. It's not. Some channels will get better or worse, and a lot of good shows will end too soon. Might as well enjoy it while it's around. The kids now will grow up to complain their shows were better than the ones in the future. You know this to be true. But there's one thing I want you all to do for me. Two amazing action cartoons, Young Justice and Green Lantern, have been cancelled. They were part of Cartoon Network's Saturday morning DC Nation block. I think these shows would have done better on a Wednesday or Thursday night. Not when I'm out of the house or sleeping in on a Saturday or Friday. Hashtag Primetime DC Nation at Cartoon Network. Let it be known you'd watch these shows at a more convenient time. Don't let more action cartoons fade away like this.